name is Megan Shipman, and I play Anya Forger in Spy Family. Fan favorite. Okay, so Anya has been voted the most adorable anime character multiple times. People will die for, as they should. It's yeah, Anya. They should. Right. So, who are your top four most adorable anime characters? Ooh, top four. Um, Bond. I think he's adorable. I would. I would die for him. Um, <laughs> um, I love, oh my god, I love animals. I think, I'm a big magical girl fan, so I love the cats, Luna and Artemis from Sailor Moon, and Diana, they're so sweet and adorable kitties. I love them. Um, I would die for, this is, I, this is a deep cut. I would die for Neji from Naruto, because he shouldn't have died. Like, I'm, thank you. I could give a whole TED talk about it. It was a deep cut. We're gonna go into a rant now. I know, I know, I know. It's wild, but yeah. Um, and I can't think of anyone else. But yeah, yeah. Okay, out of the four, just if you had to pick one of their abilities to have, who would you pick? Ooh, out of like everyone? Yeah. So Anya, your oh, even Bond. Maybe Bond. Yeah, because he sees like just enough into the future where he's like, oh boy, I'm gonna trip. I can like avoid, avoid it. it. Yeah. And then, uh, but like not so far in the future where you're like, oh my God, how do I do it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, last question What do you hope fans um, take away from the movie? Like, what are you excited for them most to see? Um, I really hope they, one, I just hope they have a really good time. I think it's a great standalone film that even if you've never watched it before, you can enjoy the movie. Um, so drag all your friends to see it because <laughs> make them watch it. It's a good time. Um, but yeah, um, I think I just love that it's such a great family film. It's just a really good time. There's there's so many good storylines that just all merge together at the end. and. Each character has their own really cool arc throughout the film. So yeah, it's it's such a good, fantastically written movie, and it's great. So no, I'm excited to see it. Yeah, me Thank too. you so I, much. I haven't seen it yet. I'm excited. <laughs> I know the cast keeps saying that. Like, I can't wait We've all see seen it. just our parts, and we're like, ha ha ha. Yeah, we're so excited. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sure. My name is Alex Oregon. I play Lloyd Forger in the English dub of Spy Family. One of our favorite dads of all time, right? <laughs> Um, so, uh, yeah, Anya's been voted like one of the most adorable anime characters of all time. Sure. <laughs> Who's your top four most adorable anime characters? Oh, this is uh, this is not a good question for me. I, I don't I, I actually don't watch a lot of anime. Oh really? I'm okay. Only focus on the projects that I'm in, so I, I I do not have an answer for this. Sorry. We'll just say Anya four times then for you. Okay. <laughs> okay. So how about this? I know you focus on your projects. Um, so what forger? Um, ability would you like to have the most? You mean out of any of them? Out of any of them. Uh, I mean, being able to read people's minds would be pretty nifty. It would probably come in handy. Probably get a little overwhelming at times, but I think that you could definitely uh, benefit and find some advantage by knowing what people are thinking. Yeah. What do you hope fans take away from this movie? What do you like? What are you excited for them to see? Uh, you know. I, I think that it's just a, a deepening of the story. We get to see a deepening of these relationships. Um, and it's kind of nice to get to, to see them do something that's like not canon, that's not like a part of like the traditional storyline. So I think it's just a, a, a chance for people to see uh, the characters expanded a little bit in kind of an expanded form and get to know them a little deeper. Absolutely. And since you do voice Lloyd, what is your favorite thing about him? About Lloyd? Um, I love that he presents as being extraordinarily cool and collected and confident all the time while simultaneously on the inside uh, he's dealing with a lot of anxiety and melting down a bit. I, I enjoy the dichotomy of switching between those two polar opposites. It does make him a little more relatable with yes. the spice part. Yeah, very I do much. agree with that. that yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for speaking with us. Have a good night. Thanks so much, guys. Absolutely. Hi, my name is Natalie Van Sistine, and I'm the voice of your forger in Spy Family. Oh my goodness, your, we love her so much. She's just insane. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, man, so, with the movie coming out, what are you excited for fans to see about the movie? Oh, um, my favorite part about this movie is, um, I mean, there's wonderful comedy and heartfelt moments, but I am actually really excited for some of your fight scenes. Like, they are so cool looking. The animation is so, like, crisp and clean and punchy, and you're, like, totally sucked into the moments. So I can't wait to see it on the big screen. <laughs> 
I, I love her fight scenes. They're always they're always trending. Um, so with Anya, Anya is like a huge fan favorite, and everybody loves her. Um, right. So she's been voted like the most adorable anime character multiple times. Um, who are your top four most adorable anime characters? Oh, most adorable anime characters. Ah, um, I'm, 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 I'm like trying to go through like my mental brain. Like, uh, I love. I mean, there's so many like cute Pokemon, for example. Uh, I love Rockruff especially because uh, I have a dog that looks like Rockruff. So I love, I love him. Um, and I'm, I'm like. <laughs> I don't know. Oh no! I was just like, oh my gosh! Have I had like a lot of shows I've been in with cute mascot characters? Like I have to think of off the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about next question? Um, so, out of the Forgers, which ability would you like to have out of the Forger family, Ooh. personally? Ooh, honestly, I think I would want yours like super strength and agility because I love the way she's able to just like every little thing just seems so physically effortless for her. And boy, I wish that was the same for me. <laughs> no, she's iconic. I love her so much. Well, thank you for speaking with us. I appreciate it. I'm so excited for the movie. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm Tyler Walker and I'm the voice of Bond, the dog. Iconic. One of our favorite characters over here. Mine too. <laughs> Um, so Anya has obviously been voted the most adorable character in anime yeah. a few times. Yeah. Um, who are your top four most adorable anime characters? Oh, uh, Wendy Marvel. Uh, oh my God, who else? Who else is like baby? Uh, you know, and then Anya has a lot of moods herself. Um, oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't. Who? who? Bond. Yeah, um, you know, and uh, Shitake from uh, Love Live, uh, another uh, another dog, and um, there's been uh, and I you know kind of have a crush on uh, Mary Hughes from Fairy Tale. She's nice. <laughs> um, so out of the forgers, which ability would you personally want to have if you can have any of the forger abilities? Um, you know, I say I would like my own powers of clairvoyance, but sometimes you know I get a little. Uh, uh, future anxiety, you know, so it's like, oh, but if I knew how it was going to happen, um, you know, I used to think I'd want to read people's minds, but, you know, it's not that hard to come by in the age of social media, right? Okay, yeah, thank you. That's actually a good point. Like, <laughs> yeah, so they would just tell you. Yeah. You'd find out. Yeah, 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 you'd find out. Yeah. Um, last question. What do you hope fans take away from this movie? Um, I don't, I just want them to have a good time, you know, and like just see the, uh, you know, importance of like a, you know, you could make your family, you know, and you can find, uh, you know, bonds with uh, people who maybe you didn't like come from, right? And like there's adventure out there. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Excited for the movie. Well, I am the voice of Fiona Frost, aka Nightfall. <laughs> okay. Well, we love her character. I mean, she's like a love hate. We love what she brings to this story. We love to hate her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think is like a misconception about Nightfall? A misconception? I don't know if there is a misconception. I mean, I think that uh, pretty much what we see is um, how she is. <laughs> At least as far as I'm aware. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure how many layers there are, yeah. I mean, because I, I think it's one of those things where obviously the way she outwardly presents herself to the other people she interacts with, she's obviously hiding a lot. Um, she comes across as so cold and serious, no nonsense, almost emotionless. Um, but because in the show we get to hear what she says in her head and how she talks to herself, we all know like how unhinged and crazy she actually is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, if you had to pick one of the Forger's abilities to have, which one would you choose? Ooh. I want to say the mind reading, but at the same time, I could see how that could get dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I probably would end up hearing things that I didn't really want to hear, but at the same time, I always get really curious about what people are thinking about certain things. So maybe if it's something that I could turn on and off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That would be it. That would be ideal. <laughs> so Anya is like known as one of the most adorable anime characters of all time. So who are like your four? Who do you? Who would you rank as like the four most adorable anime characters? So outside of Spy Family. Are you gonna include 
Okay, yeah. So I also love Bond and Spy Family. It's so cute. I'm a sucker for any kind of dog character. Uh, speaking of Pochita and Chainsaw Man, uh, who I actually also do the voice for. That's not why I think he's cute, though. <laughs> the character design's adorable, regardless of the voice. But um, that one, that's that's definitely up there. Um, who else is super cute? Um, I love any kind of creaturey character, really. Those those are always super cute. Um, there was a show that I was in a few years back called Endro. It wasn't like a super big show or anything, but there was this tiny little like dragon character that was just so cute. But yeah, I'm a sucker for creatures, creatures and animals. <laughs> so you, as you just hinted on, like you've done a lot of shows, a lot of voice acting, a lot of acting in general. What type of advice would you give somebody who wants to enter either voice acting, or just the acting field in general? Because I know like acting is voice acting. Yeah, I mean voice acting is acting, but yeah. Taking classes, 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 classes. It doesn't need to be, um, you know, if you want to do voiceover, for example, you don't actually have to take voiceover specific classes. I've actually never taken a voiceover class before. <laughs> All of my training was in acting for the camera and the skills translate over. So regardless of what type of acting you want to do, just taking acting classes of any type um, will be super helpful because uh, the, the, the skills translate over regardless of the medium. It's about, you know, knowing how to portray a character believably and in an engaging organic way um, and the little specifics like with technical things for voiceover for example you can learn on the job so yeah it's just getting the training <laughs> thank you and last question um, what do you hope fans take away from this movie Ooh. a takeaway I yeah I hope that that, that they have a blast. I hope that they're on the edge of their seat, not knowing what's going to happen. Um, I hope that they laugh and smile a lot, and I think that they will. <laughs> I love, thank you so much. I love your portrayal of Nightfall. She, she brings a lot of stuff to the show. It's always funny. Yeah, and I'm excited for the movie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to see it, too, because I actually haven't seen it. Oh, yes. And it's, no, all I've seen was what I, the scenes that I was in when I was recording for it. So I'm excited to actually see the finished product. It'll be really fun. Yeah. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. So, what do you hope fans take from the movie? Uh, this is a fun, like outside of the normal series kind of story. You can enjoy it just on its own. So, I hope that fans just get to see like a fun little slice of life for this family that you can just kind of enjoy as it is. You know, kind of like going on vacation. You just get to ah, that's fun, and you don't really have to think about it too much. Yeah. Um, so, Anya is known as like one of the most adorable anime characters of all time. Okay. Yes. So, who are your top four most adorable anime characters? And it can include spy family characters as well. Okay. Wow. You put me a four. That's that's a bunch. As many as I can. You're talking about sweet beans must protect. <laughs> like have to. Okay. I would be remiss, and the fans would would uh, riot if I didn't say as Uncle Frankie if. Anya wasn't number one on my list. Um, I am very partial to, uh, I love characters like um, Otama from One Piece that is in the current art, like the Wano art. Like there's, there, One Piece has a great history of having little children that you have to save, very precious. Um, oh, uh, the precious little cinnamon, but uh, Hunter Hunter, the, the lead boy, I forget what his name is, it's eluding me at the moment. Yes, yeah, just like, whoa, I mean, it's just, Characters like that, or like in Black Clover, there's like Charmy. Uh, I mean, it's just little like little girls. Yeah, until she gets hungry, you know. And actually, now that I think about it, two of those are Sarah Wiedenhep characters. So maybe it's just, yeah, just Wiedenhep is a protectable person, I guess. But yeah, I guess if I off the top of my head, you know, that's who's coming to mind right now. Little sit, little. Ooh. I love all of those answers. I, I love fans of all those characters. <laughs> um, so if you kind of pick one of the Forger's okay. abilities to have, whether you can have like Lloyd Spice skills, okay. yours, assassin skills, be a telepath like Anya, see the future like Bond, who are you picking? What skills would you want? What abilities? Man, I feel like the future side and telepathy would just be more kind of burdens. They sound fun, but double-edged sword. Right. You know, right there. Uh, I mean, in between y your and Lloyd, I mean, if you're gonna do something like a like a job, like aspire an assassin, you want to look good doing it. So I think your. I gotta go your. Your looks really. I mean, she she drunkenly was able to fight and look good doing it. 
So, I mean, that's I, I want that kind of fierce energy. See, now that you brought that up, I have one last question for you. Okay, so are you familiar with Naruto? You watched that already? Naruto? Familiar, like, not the whole series. Not the whole series. Were you familiar with Rock Lee? I, okay. I, yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we had a debate earlier, so I have to ask you because you brought this up. Who is a better drunk fighter, do you think? You're Rock Lee. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're Rock Lee? Rock Lee would say Rock Lee. <laughs> The true answer is your, but Rock Lee would say Rock Lee. <laughs> That's what I'll say. Okay, right, thank you so much for interviewing with us, speaking with us. Much. Of course, thank you. Okay, so what was your reaction when you first read the script? Oh, I loved it. I absolutely, I thought it was hilarious and full of action. Um, what do you hope fans take away from the movie? Uh, well, you know, that family is uh, the most important thing. And who is your favorite forger? Uh, favorite what? Forger. Who's your favorite Forger. in the Forger family? Forger. Yeah. I can't pick. I'm the director, so they're all my favorite. My, I can't. You're like telling me to pick my kids. I can't do that. <laughs> okay. Um, how about this? What is your favorite Forger ability? If you could pick one, which one would you want to have, and why? I don't know. Uh, Lloyd's calculations are pretty good, but I don't know if I'd want to. I think Bond. Mm -hmm. That's a good ability. Yeah. I, I think I agree with you. There. I love it. Okay. Um, <laughs> now, Anya is always like the top contender. She's always up there in the top three for the most adorable anime characters, mm -hmm. right? So who is your favorite, or who do you think is the most adorable anime character, like Anya and who else, in the, in the Spy Family verse? Ooh, I'd say the most adorable Spy Family character other than Anya have to be Emil. Yeah, Emil is one of my favorites. Yeah, definitely. No. Thank you for speaking with us. I'm so excited for the movie. Me too. Yeah. Oh wait, last one. Do you think there will be like a part two, any type of spin-off? Really so. Yeah. Yeah, I can only hope so. That would be that would be awesome. There's more manga, so maybe. Um, just want to ask you one quick question. I know you're busy. I know um, the makeup is beautiful. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at your face. I, I, I love the makeup. Myself. I was literally in the car like. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Sephora. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Sephora and Target, okay? <laughs> uh, just a quick question. Okay. Out of the, um, so Anya is known as like one of the most adorable anime characters of all time. Okay. So Anya is known as one of the most adorable anime characters of all time. Yes. Okay. Who are your four top most adorable anime characters? <gasps> oh my gosh. Well, literally, <laughs> it's actually so funny that you asked me that because I'm just now getting into it. I'm just now introducing myself to the world. Um, I am learning so many different things and um, I started with Attack on Titan. I've started with, you know, I definitely started a little dark at first. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I'm just learning so many different stories and all of them are so adorable to me. So I don't know list just yet but um, I can't wait to open up my horizons and take suggestions like give me suggestions I'm pulling for them I need some um, so I've definitely watched Tech on Titan but I'm still I haven't finished the seasons no spoilers <laughs> let me tell you I've been like this but I also watched Game of Thrones late too so I was like and insecure late I was I'm blocking everything yeah I'm, <laughs> yeah <laughs> no for real but give me suggestions I want to learn so many Many things. Oh, One Piece. Yes, I've heard of that. Naruto. I heard of Demon Slayer. Yes. Hero Academia. Yeah. Promising Neverland is something that I also started, and it's just it had me crying. I was like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa. But yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm so glad. Everybody's so nice. I mean, it's such a great community, and um, I have so much to learn. And I hope that people are accepting to me learning so many different aspects of life. I think anime is so beautiful and such an amazing way of storytelling and for all ages. And I've learned so many new things. So I'm just, I'm like, yo, we might have seen this. Thank you so much. So I'm grateful to be here. Um, I just got my Crunchyroll subscription. So I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anya is known as like the most adorable anime character of all time, right? So who would be your top four most adorable anime characters? I know it's a little on the spot. I know, it's, it is. Okay, number one, Pikachu. Okay, and when people say, what's your favorite Pokemon, you don't say Pikachu. I don't understand because, well, she has like, Pikachu has the most amount of screen time. So like, you fall in love with the thing you see most and that's Pikachu. Uh, who else is really, really adorable? Okay, have you seen um, Madoka Magica? A little bit. The, you know, the bunny. 
Top of my head, that's all I can okay, remember right now. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for standing with us. Yeah, of course. Oh. <laughs>